Hey, hey, welcome back to Dividend Explorer. Uh, but first, uh, I would like to ask you to subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to keep following my dividend investing journey. Um, it's now the fourth day, the fourth day of investing. And we now pick the fourth. Today we invest in another limited partnership, Enterprise Product Partners. It's a company that's... Um, maintaining uh, and operating a pipeline storage and processing uh, network for oil and gas in the US. It has a yield of more than uh, 10%, um, but it should be noted that you will be taxed differently than on other dividend stocks, since the company has not been taxed uh, with corporate taxes. So you'll have to file uh, this payout as uh, additional income. Um, the MLP is very high on our, on our list because it has a low PE ratio. But MLPs generally, generally have lower PE ratios than other stocks. I'm still considering removing uh, limited partnerships from my screener. You can find my screener on uh, dividendexplorer.com where I pull monthly lists uh, and rank different stocks based on almost nine different parameters. Uh, and as a test, I'm investing $50 every day in uh, yeah, the components that have been ranked by my list. And uh, we'll see what will happen. Um, I'm only investing $50 per share so the risk is quite low uh, I can build a di di diversified portfolio uh, doing, the, doing that the only issue is I can't buy full shares so I'm using a broker that allows fractional shares uh, you can find this in brokers like M1 Finance or Robinhood where, where you can buy half or maybe one tenth of a share and enter the market at very low low prices. The payouts uh, for this MLP have been uh, growing in the past five years, uh, but yeah, you should note that currently the price of uh, EPD is very low, so it's very undervalued because it probably doesn't have much inco income. Also, the price of oil and gas has tanked the past few months because of, uh, on the one hand, there's an oil, oil war, and on your other hand, um, demand for gas and oil has dropped due to the global pandemic. As long as there's no economic activity, the share prices will stay low. I hope uh, it won't impact their business too much and the crisis doesn't take too long. But once it's, it's over, I expect oil prices to rise again, business to start growing again, and demand for gas and oil will maybe explode let's hope so thank you for watching see you tomorrow